What's up, COF? How you doing? How you doing? It's your man, C. Mill. C from the D coming at you with everything that's real. How you doing today? Today is a great day. It's a Sunday. Everything was cool. I hope your weekend was good. I hope your family is good. Hope everything is alive and well with you and yours. Today, I would like to talk to you about you are here for multiple reasons, not to narcissize somebody, not to degrade somebody, and not to backstab somebody or deplete them of their happiness. Um, let's begin with this right here. <clears throat> Be very careful when somebody tries to use what you know, what they know about you to take away what's great about you. Be very careful when somebody tries to use what they know about you to take about take away what's great about you. That is very key. That's why you guard your energy. That's why you don't share information with certain people and stuff. Because they will use it to go against you. Um, <clears throat> rivers don't drink their own water. Trees don't eat their own fruit. And the sun does not shine on itself. And Jesus did not die on the cross for himself. Everything and everyone here is to serve several purposes. Or some or some um, or serve someone else in the sense of to help and not to enslave. All in the name of Jesus Christ. And what did and what did Jesus Christ do? He did, he helped everyone. He helped everyone else out by paying the price for this for our sins so that you may have the chance to make it into heaven. So how can you think that only, how can you think only about yourself? Everything on earth serves multiple purposes. Key words, serves and multiple purposes. You are supposed to be there for your people, not backstabbing them, narcissizing them, is a sin because even in nature in nature things are sir are here to serve multiple purposes so you so you are supposed to help the people in your group the people that are close to you why do you think that <clears throat> you get cool with people in your family or your friend circle you are assigned to each other to be there for each other that is your tribe that is your spiritual responsibility but you can't be spiritual responsible for someone and then stab them in the back for what reason that you that you backstab them? What reason? You know what I'm saying? Is it a good enough reason that you think that God will smile down on you and agree with you with your decision? Do you think that God will approve of your reasoning for backstabbing them? Especially when you know that your friend or family member would have never crossed you, not even close to the degree where you, as a toxic person or a narcissist, has crossed them or betrayed them. You build people up, and you never want to be the one in the universe to tear someone down. You are cursing yourself and your children. You are breaking spiritual laws on so many different levels when you tear someone down. Who are you to tear someone down? Loving, living for others is the rule is a rule of nature it is a universal law to help others no matter how difficult it may be if that person is in your tribe why or how could you stab them in the back betray them belittle them or misuse their trust i just can't see doing that to someone that you love i just can't see it life is definitely great when you are happy but so much better when others are happy because of you not someone hurting because of you. Narcissists, a.k.a. Satan's helpers, the devil's advocates. Everything that God made helps another being or helps something out. And shows love to others. <clears throat> you can live and be healthy and strong. Now everything... Be healthy and strong. Now everything that the adversary, Satan, tries to do is to tear down, destroy, backstab, um, enslave, and make weak. It is, it is all right. It is all right <clears throat> in your face for everybody to see how God made the universe and made everything to help something else. So you're here to help someone else. Jesus died on the cross to help everybody else. 
So it's all you here to help. You're here to be an asset. You're not here to deplete anybody of their good feelings or their good energy or positive energy. You're had you're here to add positive energy to somebody's life, not take away. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me see. The narc is in the dark, and the people that try to do right live in the light. C O L. The narc, the narcissists, or people in the dark, are selfish, like Satan. And people that try to do right live in the light. You can't be selfish and truly love and understand the true meaning of God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity. The selfishness does not exist in the spiritual, Mr. or Mrs. Nart. May all wrongdoers not prevail, and the only thing that they get is a chance to burn in hell. Narcissists are wrong, flat out. Toxic people are wrong, flat out. Bad parenting is wrong, flat out. Smear campaigns are wrong, flat out. <clears throat> Back, backstabbing is wrong, flat out. Teaming up with the enemy is wrong, flat out. And all narcissists will suffer immensely, I promise. So don't worry about it. Stay strong and try not to do anything wrong. When we go through everything that we go through with a narcissist and try and they try to strip you of everything and try to destroy you mentally and spiritually and drop all of them and drop all of their uh, smear campaign bombs and the smoke clears and you're still standing. That means you are God's child. You are God's child. And that's the only thing that they should see and they should stop. But some of them, they won't stop. You know what I'm saying? Um, you cannot make real friends with fake people. And not everything needs a reaction. C-O-L, you are worthy of happiness. You are worthy of being in a good space. You're worthy of being and having a joyful life you're worthy of god's grace only because he said that we are there's nothing that we can do to get in the graces of god you know what i'm saying so you have to go through different stages dealing with the narcissist you know what i'm saying and the narcissist will try to mess up your life in different ways when they hit you real hard in the beginning and you try to break up, you might have a trauma bond. You might go back. You might still deal with them. You start, you might still mess with them. But the longer you stay away and the stronger you keep researching and reading your Bible and finding out about yourself, you will get stronger as time goes on. You know what I'm saying? So you will begin to have different types of awakenings. You know what I'm saying? The first one will be when you split up from the narc. You know what I'm saying? The second one when you will be like trauma bonded and you will still be dealing with the narc. You know what I'm saying? So different stages take place, but you have to stay strong, man. You know what I'm saying? And keep moving on, man. You know what I'm saying? So this your man, C. Mill. Wanted to share that with you. Hit that like and subscribe. Hit that share button. And I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Y'all have a blessed one, man. I'll see y'all on the next one.